Hi, John Jackson from Ram Mounts uh, here at ICAS. And we're just going to kind of briefly touch on some of the, the newer stuff that we've got and some of the other stuff that's actually been gaining in popularity over the, the last year. So um, to start out, we've got a couple new projects here. Uh, one of them is the flush mount wedge adapter. And that's actually going to be for flush mounted rod holders that you know typically are going to be behind you in the boat, not always, but a lot of times. And so what we've done is we've actually come up with a, uh, you know, we had the ball and socket uh, system before where it had the balls on the top, but I know for trolling behind you, uh, having the ball system, you know, can slip, you know, if a big fish hits it. So we've got uh, now a post and spline system that can actually go right in there. So it's just a much more rigid system to be able to, you know, make sure your stuff stays put, uh, you know, when you're trolling for bigger fish or, uh, you know, and one of the other benefits of it is that, you know, instead of being confined to the, web, the, the direction that the rod holder comes into the hole, now you can actually, you know, basically take this and move it out so that the rods are coming out in front of you and you can see the tip instead of everything being behind you and not being able to actually see it. So, so one of the cool adaptations that, uh, you know, that you can make with RAM. The second thing is going to be the torque mount. And this is uh, really cool just because I know that the way that uh, kayak seats are going, you know, a lot of it's going to be like metal tubing uh, these days. Not, every, not all the time, but a lot of times. And so being able to mount to the seat um, to be able to you know, put a camera on uh, or something else and have it not be in your way as far as when you're sitting in the seat, uh, it's just really cool to be able to actually use the whole boat, every bit of it, to be able to mount from. So stuff like this gives you the opportunity to be able to have, you know, put cameras or a cup holder, you know, for instance, and things like that uh, off to the side, out of the way of the paddle, but still available for you to be able to access and use. So um, that's kind of the two or the newer things as far as the torque mount and the, the flush mount wedge adapter. Um, this has actually been gaining in popularity a lot. I use this on my kayak uh, when I'm fishing, but it's uh, just a tough claw, which we've had out for a while, directly to the cup holder. This is really cool because it is, it stays out of your way uh, as far as paddling goes and uh, allows you to um, not spill anything. You know, this is meant to move with you, you know, so, you know, and it's cool when you put your seat down and you kind of recline everything, you know, it still just kind of stays out of the way, you know, kind of tucked away. So this never leaves my seat uh, on my boat. But uh, to move forward, I mean, we've got, you know, a few other things here. This is uh, the new Vibe uh, Seaghost 130 and uh, really slick boat, uh, extremely popular uh, from what I've been told. I haven't been able to paddle it yet, but that's coming shortly. X-Grip, uh, we've got some adapters here that go into the, uh, the kind of the pre-molded top here for this uh, compartment. And so we do have adapters that basically turn the Scotty hole pat like holes into a ram adapted ball and socket system. So you know, you're not only held to what fits in here now, you know, with an adaptive piece, you can put it, you know, anything on there that you want, ball and socket, action camera, um, Bluetooth speaker, whatever you want. So, um, you know, quite a few different things here. Uh, we've got the camera mount with the aluminum flex rod, you know, that goes directly to the uh, track, which is really cool. Um, kind of got like a little Franken mount here with uh, the rod holder, you know, this is the Tube Junior. Uh, probably one of our most popular rod holders, especially for kayak fishing. Uh, with the you know baitcaster lock and then the two spinning lock uh, areas, so you know just a lot of adaptability. You know that's the name of the game is just being able to you know take your stuff whether it's from one boat to another uh, or turn your boat into like your personalized you know fishing vessel. So yeah, it's been fun. <laughs>